up next we're going to move in to the break and the build of the song so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to move this over 16 bars and we're going to make our uh start making our break right here so the first thing i want to do here is our pattern one i want to bounce this as audio actually instead of just having it uh here as a midi file in our project playing on that uh, silent patch i'm actually going to turn this into audio so we can easily manipulate it for the uh for the break. So how you do that, very easy. In FL Studio, on your uh, list of patterns right here on your left, you're going to right click the pattern you want, and then you click Quick Render as Audio Clip. But before I do that, I'm actually going to take the kickstart off it because I don't want it to be side chained, just so I have the most control over the, uh, the signal. So I'm going to right click pattern one, I'm going to click Quick Render as Audio Clip, and you saw there, that's exactly what it did. And now we have it here, pattern one. We're gonna put the trim up so it trims off, off so it trims off a little of that silence, and then I'm going to put the declicking mode on generic and then make sure there's a perfect loop. I'm also gonna put the kickstart back on our bass. So I'm gonna put this on its own mixer track. separate from our base because obviously it printed the wave file with all the effects on it so we don't need to route it back through our uh, our other base channel and what i want to do here is i'm going to load up a filter make a high pass filter and then i'm going to kind of cut out some of the low end and i'm going to put the resonance up to medium So what I'm doing here is for our break, I want to be able to hear the bass line that's being played without all the sub coming through. So it kind of teases the bass line for the drop. So I'm going to play four of these. And I'm also going to put this, uh, this crash here. I'm going to put some of our other drum pills in there. I'm also gonna make a reverse crash real quick. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take our normal crash. I'm gonna click the uh, button in the top right and click make unique. And now I'm gonna double click on that sample and then click the reverse button. I'm just gonna drag back a little bit of the sample just so we get most of the tail and then have it sweep into our, uh, our real crash. I'm gonna lower the volume a tiny bit on that too. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take our kick, but what I'm going to do here to make sure the kick has less of a body is I'm literally just going to take out the body from our uh, our sample that we kind of chopped together. I just want that little click at the beginning, just a transient, rather than the whole kick. I'm also, now that I hear it, I'm going to make this as unique as well and put it on some mixer track. And I'm also going to put a, uh, a high pass filter on this. Actually, I'm going to make it a band pass. Yeah, perfect. So band pass filter cuts out some highs and lows, uh, rather than just one or the other. So yeah, that's what we're doing here. And we'll lower the volume quite a bit so it's quieter than a drop kick. Alright, up next I need to find some sort of uh, snare build. So here's one Tech House Animals. So this is 125 BPM, so I'm going to make it to 124, we're going to stretch that out. All 
Alright, that sounds pretty good to me. So I'm going to put this on some mixer track. Lower the volume a tiny bit. And I'm also going to put a filter on this. I'm gonna sp it's going to be a low pass filter. I'm going to start at like 100 and then have it uh, open its way up. So I'm going to do that by... Obviously the last thing we tweaked was the, uh, the filter knob. So I'm going to go to tools. Last tweaked. Create a zomation clip. I'm also going to put a little bit of reverb on this. Kind of makes it sound cool when it's, that, when it's still filtered a little bit. You can kind of hear it in the background, kind of building up a little bit more. All right, so we need a few more things at this point. It's just about filling up our build here. So I'm gonna try and find some sort of synth sound or synth loop that we could use. All right, so in our Juicy Tech House pack, I found this uh, string sample. So I think that's gonna sound really good in the background. So we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna stretch it to 124 and it's an F sharp minor. So obviously we're gonna go down two semitones to E minor. Mixes quite a bit. I don't love the lower frequency frequencies in the sample. So I'm gonna cut out everything below a thousand hertz, pretty much. I'm also gonna put a pretty big reverb on it. I'm gonna lower the volume quite a bit. All right, let's find some more sounds. All right, I found another cool loop that I think will sound cool in the background. It sounds like this. Uh, if we click, if we right-click the sample and click an audio editor, and then right-click that again, click regions, and then click detect pitch regions, we could see that a lot of the notes, or all of them rather, are F sharp or there's D sharp in there too. So we're gonna lower that two semitones. Put this on some mixer track here, obviously, and I'm gonna pan it to the right a little bit. I'm also gonna put a big reverb on it that just slowly uh, increases over the time over the course of the build. I'm also going to double click the sample, I'm going to change the time stretching mode to stretch, and I'm going to put this pitch range up to 12, and I'm going to have the very end of the sample uh, kind of slowly increase pitch until at the uh, very end it's up a whole octave. I think that combined with the automated reverb sounds really, really cool. Now that I hear that, I'm gonna do the same thing with our string sample. I'm gonna put this as 12 again. And I could just route this uh, this pitch, uh, pitch knob to our other sample, but in case it doesn't sound exactly how we want it to, I'm just gonna give it its own automation clip. All right, cool. So up next, I need some sort of sweep, like a white noise sweep. So let's go find one of those. This is a pretty good down sweep here. So I'm just going to put a dimension expander on it. And I hear a tiny bit of a low end in the start of the sample. Kind of here, here. So I'm just gonna cut that out. Also can put a reverb on it. Thank you. 
And now I just need to sweep up. This one looks pretty good. I'm also gonna automate the volume on this because it comes out a little too strong, I think. I'm also gonna automate our brake kick here, similar to the other sounds. I'm gonna put a reverb on it and then have it build up, which is also slowly gonna wash out the kick sound. I also put in the uh, little beginning synth from our drop here that we kind of use to tease it. I'm gonna kind of expand these uh, these animation clips we already have over the course of a, a build. We're gonna make them all as unique, obviously. All right, so let's listen to our build so far. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with our break and our build. Up next, we're going to work on our intro and completing our track. <laughs> 